and, uh, that beat Apollo uh, going off against Ralph. I really like the choice to opt for Wolf here. I think of all of uh, Ralphie's characters, Wolf just has so many tools to break in on the Belmont, has so many tools just to go off on them. Wolf's advantage shit against the character is ridiculous. Yeah, this is this is a tough matchup for that character. Just look yeah. at Ralphie already. A couple of hits position himself perfectly. Belmont honestly could not do anything in disadvantage there. And Ralphie has already caught on to the fact that he's gonna go from the down air a lot. They're already yeah. started punishing it. So the fact that because Wolf's Bastion is, um, you can only be stopped with a uh, with a hurt box, not with a hit box. It's very easy for uh, it's very difficult for for Richter to stop it without using something like Axe or the uh, or the Holy Water bottle. Yeah. Ooh. Very well. well Ralphie's himself. positioning is really really great. He's you know he's anti airing Slink appropriately, mm, messing up on the Beaver on the Axe though. Uh, very unfortunate. And now what he's looking for. Well, Oh, <laughs> wow, interesting use of the up smash to make a holy water bottle. Yeah, I don't I like know it. if he was anticipating. What an angle on that up beat, by the way. That was, that was good. Yeah, Slink so not really falling for a lot of, like, people with Ralph and stuff before, like, these tech chases. But he is kind of really committing every single time he gets a holy water on the ledge. Right, like, I'm gonna be honest, I, I feel like it is an autopilot ledge trap. He's not paying attention to what Ralph is doing. Every time, uh, he's going to set up... He is going to set up Holy Water and then charges his F Smash every single time. Um, and, and it really hasn't adapted to players sort of jumping in on him. Granted, Ralphie did not get a kill for it yet, so he's like technically okay. But I don't think he can like last for it. Like, he, can't, he can't really last doing that much longer. Yeah, I'm also surprised Ralphie isn't um, reflecting any of these axes. It can be unsafe to do it at certain, uh, at certain ranges, but if he's doing a super like up close axe, it can be really dangerous for Richter because he either has to move out of the way or he has to eat an axe that can, break his, that can almost break his shields. Mm -hmm. And again, like Slink not properly able to capitalize on people jumping in on him. I would like to see him start to anti maybe with an up or something. Jeez! And his head chopped off. Oh my god, and the little crawl backwards. Slink. Who is this man? That's a good question. What region is he from? I... Smash Ninja gives you so little information about players, it's kind of unconscious. Mm. Yeah, but the back is 160% more. I didn't have to take it, obviously. Uh, yeah, this is looking really good for Slink right now. He's a whole stock up, keeping Ralphie at the ledge. But again, Ralphie getting away with just jumping in on him. Slink has not been able to successfully anti air once. I mean, unless he reads the, uh, the exact approach that that Ralphie's getting. He doesn't really have any great options for that besides up the or near. I mean, up tilt, I feel like. Oh, up, up tilt's definitely one as well, yeah. But up tilt's uh, definitely a commit. True, true, but I mean, I really haven't seen Ralphie make some large options. Um, he's is. like making it really easy for him to get back. But that being said, Ralphie's dead! Ooh. This man is gone. He's in the moon. It was like eventually he was getting the, uh, he did get the amphitheaters he wanted there. Ah, uh, yes, Wi Fi. Mm. I think last week's winner was Dread JP, but I'm not 100% certain. Yeah, it's check by. Oh my god. Not gonna lie, it looked out. like it looked like Ralph got kinda of frustrated towards the end. Yeah, I mean he definitely had control of the of the match at the very beginning, but then he started like slipping out of his fingers. And when you uh when you don't maintain control properly, it can be really easy to just lose. Ready? Okay, interesting. What, 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 is he, what is he doing? I guess he forgot to change the stage. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm so sorry. I, forgot, I left my water. Uh, I left my bottle of water. I'll be back in half a second. I'm so sorry. Yeah, make oh. sure to grab your cheese. So <laughs> All right, so we have um. Three, two, one, go! Take this! Alright, yeah, so we have, um, 
We have Paolo Ralphi. Honestly, I'm surprised that. So Wolf actually is really good at the, at the matchup, but it is a, uh, a matter of trying to get the advantage as quickly as you can. Uh, Paolo's kind of on the other end of the perspective. Of the, is kind of on the other end where she's actually allowed to play the long game against Richter. Auto reticle and uh, an explosive flare are both incredibly good for keeping Richter at a, at a distance. Mm -hmm. And the yeah. fact that she does have teleport cancels does give her a lot of extra movement when trying to get back. Uh, if they're playing on FD, that's definitely going to be uh, mitigated that uh, it's an advantage, but I don't think Ralphie's going to let him take him there anymore. Yeah, for sure. And also, kind of like when Palutena gets like one down to go, or like one inch like on Balma, I feel like he gets hit some of the hardest out of the entire cast. Um, just like so much free damage that you can pile on top of the character. Man, yeah. Slink is going for all of these holy water death smashes at last. <laughs> yeah, Ralphie is definitely like just kind of calling him out on the fact that he's been doing that often. Uh, honestly, expect like some kind of uh, expect some kind of adaptation from Slink at some point, where he's gonna just start F smashing in random directions and down smashing instead. That was hilarious. That was mad funny. He just teleported canceled right into it. Ralphie actually choosing to go for the dash attack there, but I believe he might have been able to get like some more damage if he had uh, gone through like good volume neutral and just like started dragging um, Slink towards the center stage again. But I understand that maybe he just wanted to keep Slink in the corner. Really nice reflect. Wow. Ralphie definitely had the right idea with the up smash. Yeah, knowing that Slink was going to try to run right in with that downer. This game compared to the last one, what a turnaround for Ralphie. He was just on top of him. Completely. He didn't let him bleed at all. Then yeah, he was second crazy. In space, just like kept him in the corner, kept him off stage, made sure to edge guard him appropriately. He played it by the book. That was excellent. Yeah, when Palutena is on point, like this matchup can be really rough for Richter to the point where like there's not much Ralphie in here being like, man. F Wi-Fi, I feel it. Wi-Fi can be kind of frustrating. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, dog! What are you doing? You need to give Luna more uh, head pets and, and hugs. Don't know. She's like she's crying a little bit. I'm not like crying, crying, but she's like making like noises that are an approximation of crying. So I'm just like, let me hug you, I guess. Interestingly, Al. Interestingly enough, um, Ralphie did not ban Pat, um, uh, didn't ban FD. I don't think FD was honestly that big of a deal, for, for at least for Palu, especially since I feel like there's a bigger issue of Belmont can't land. He has horrible air speed. He is not mixing Palu in the air. He has like one of the worst air speeds in the game, right? Um, so when he's up above Palu, Ready? what's he gonna do? Down air? Man with neutral? Air? He really cannot do anything at all. Um, and, and if the, if they are going to be, and, and if they are going to end up going to like a flat stage, I think Pal is really going to be able to capitalize off of that. One, oh wow, right off the bat. Just able to shove Ralphie into the corner, but that's going to be the down throw into the forwarder and another nail, setting up a frame trap. Look how good this is for Ralphie, already like doing so much to slink. Wow. Again, I feel like also Ralphie's um, SDI out of Foley Water is pretty on point as well. He's getting out of it relatively quickly, definitely not letting Slink set up for the F smash that he's looking for. Slink going through five back here's in a row and actually able to land one through all of those. Mm, excellent juggle from Ralphie, just like recognizing the fact that. <laughs> that looked so funny. Yeah, that <laughs> went He did hit it with the hitbox itself. Um, he actually just wasn't able to. Um, he, he wasn't able to get, get it so that the projectile became his. Only because the windbox pushed it back. Ralphie could have still theoretically ran into it. Mm -hmm. I feel like Ralphie has become a little bit predictable with his teleports. Um, it feels like he's getting off of ledge the same exact way. Unfortunately, whiffing that dash grab, he's gonna be eating 40-40% for it. 
Yeah, no, Ralphie losing the platforms definitely uh, is hurting him in this matchup. Um, the fact that he's not able to develop or cancel off the platforms uh, really reduces his options, like, so, so much. Uh, this is the fact that, like, I don't know, I guess it feels like a little awkward trying to get back to the stage. I mean, it seems like he might be auto a bit, considering he's auto like four times in a row. Uh, yeah, and Slink had, like, some... Slink! Slink! Yo. You know, I actually listen. This is a bit of a hot take, but I don't mind teabags. I don't. I don't mind like stuff like that at all. Because to me, ultimately, it feels like if you getting like upset by it at the end of the day, it's it's more so just like because like I don't know. It's just it's just like it's just something that you have to ignore, right? Because that's how they like sort of take advantage of a weakened mental state. Like mm -hmm. when you when you're feeling a little bit stressed, and it just sort of like starts to snowball on you. So you just have to focus on keeping your composure when you do get hit by stuff like that. Slink, Slink's ledge tra trapping is impeccable right now. Keeping Ralphie on for so long, Ralphie really smart there, understanding that those hits will drag down and actually won't pull, pull him in. So oh my smash attack. Yeah. Good lord. He finally got the, uh, he finally got the S-Smash. And let's see what Ralphie says. Ah, uh, yes, so fun. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. This is the game we have to play right now. Um, and the fact that, like, yeah, you're not allowed to parry, like, usually in this kind of lag, and some characters just become stronger, that's something you have to deal with. Yeah. I mean, and I'm gonna be honest, like, getting off yeah. the ledge against Belmont, it's not really fun for anybody. I think Slink did a good job. Of, of no. just slowly dragging Ralphie down, and then once he got antsy, that's when he finally committed to the F smash. No. I mean, you're not wrong. It definitely is like a, um, it's definitely a difficult situation. It just, it's just compound, difficulty is compounded by the fact that there's lag getting, that there's lag in the game. Why do you keep doing this? Or is it just because Ralphie doesn't, Ralphie keeps picking stages and then immediately going to. Ralphie has lost his will to keep fighting. He's like, I thought, he's, he's done. He's checked out. He's going back to PS2. I mean, yeah, Ralphie won there. He, did, he, he, not, he didn't just win there. He won confidently on, uh, on PS2. Yeah, he did. Oh, but again, Slink going, just starting off aggressively just like he did the last game and like successfully, like sort of, I don't know. You can see, you can see Slink kind of figured out like how Ralphie's going to try to move him in platforms and he's starting to put more hitboxes there, mm -hmm. which is definitely the right thing to do in that situation. How many times Ralphie's just going through dash attack? That's like, I feel like Ralphie's playing angry because he's like, yeah. I know Slink, you're gonna try to land aggressively with down or something, and so and so Ralphie like keeps going through that lead just to like sort of. I I, I wanted to say like rub it in, almost. He's definitely annoyed, and he's like, yeah, you're gonna do the same options all over again and just flow chart. I'm gonna do the same. That's definitely like what. That's almost definitely what his mentality is. Either that or just like I'm over this. Either one, it's like yeah. Oh jeez, dude, come on. Is it gonna? And that platform coming in to, to save uh, Richter. Uh, that uh, smash is really well placed. That up air is really well placed. Ralphie can be still because like. Link is consistently using down air out of disadvantage. Ralphie is teabagging back. But I feel like, oh my god, so this is something I want to talk about. Your opponent initiating the teabag, that's them trying to make you upset. And if you start teabagging back. That's just showing that's, that they did it. Yeah. That's just showing that they just got in your head. And yeah. I don't know, like, like, like people like because it feels like they're trying to prove something when they teabag back. Uh, so you know, no, Ralphie is playing like he's upset. He is playing like he's a little bit upset right now. He is playing angry. Um, but but like he just needs to channel it a little bit more of a like reserved way because otherwise he's just gonna end up like I don't know. I don't want to say drawing because he might end up losing the game as a result. This is pretty he, degenerate. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like you know, I don't know. This isn't a... Richter is definitely a character that, if you play him a certain way on Wi-Fi, you tend to see a lot more success. Um, and I don't really know, I don't want to judge like one way or another, but it is kind of... It can be pretty obnoxious to fight that. 
Because That's it does the point, feel like. Zonos are supposed to make you feel, feel flushing. It's supposed to be inherently obnoxious. Right, Zona is supposed to make that's like I guess it's like basic fighting game theory. That's what they're sort of just meant to be doing. I mean that's definitely true, but it's also like there is nuance in the way that you can play any zoner, mm -hmm. and you can like it's really just like they they may have those tools in your kit, but you can definitely utilize them in different ways. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't like show the depth of the character when uh, when you play them in that kind of flowcharty way. And that's what's really frustrating to a lot of people that play offline when you fight people that are using uh, Wi-Fi well to their advantage. Because it is like something that people who play pr primarily offline have a tendency not to do, is abuse Wi-Fi tactics or like abuse the way that the Wi-Fi changes the game. Yeah. Oh, I you drag like down. I mean, that's good. That's definitely what you should be doing against Belmont. Anyways, like throwing out a nice multi-hit, the most active move that you have to either drag them down or just to hit them out of it. Um, you should be going to get the recovery every single time. Ralphie really, really smart to fade back after the neutral load on save. And finally, able to get a little bit of damage going for himself. Oh, that was so close to being really nice. Oh, that was a good reflect. Like yeah, this? he was at the point where if he aired on, he would have actually locked himself into the axe. Ooh, really, really aggressive teleport back onto the stage. I feel like Ralphie's starting to get a little bit overwhelmed. Didn't make oh, he should teleport. work! No! no. <laughs> like this? Uh, Sylvia so with the conspiracy that uh, Sonic is in fact a bot created by Sakurai for peak Wi-Fi. And you, and you okay, you okay, you okay, Dara? Uh, seeing Ralphie say, yo, GG's great games. <laughs> uh, I don't think we should be picking sides. No, it's just funny. I'm not picking a side, I just think it's funny. No, I, feel I don't bad. think you're picking a side. I'm not picking a side. I feel bad, okay? I really do. Are you sure? No, 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 just everybody, like, like, I, I just, I just appreciate how, how, I don't know. This is, this, this set just makes me feel all sorts of uncomfortable. What do you appreciate? What do you, what do you appreciate? What do I appreciate out of this? Do you, do you appreciate cringe? Is that, is that, is that your thing? I do, you, okay. You're like, you're I like, I love up, cringe. I do, I, I'll be honest, I do appreciate cringe. I grew up on, 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 on cringe culture, okay? 